With that, we move to health, where Nigeria's House of Representatives Committee on Health has raised concerns over the relocation of Nigerian doctors and nurses abroad, which has caused a decline in the country's health manpower. The committee disclosed that due to such rush abroad, the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, for instance, has five wards comprising 150 beds which have been shut down over shortage of personnel. The chairman of the committee, Dr. Amos Magaji, described the situation as worrisome, saying the legislative arm is working towards nipping the increasing rate of Nigerians going abroad for medical tourism in the board. He said the Nigerian health workers' migration overseas has taken a huge toll on the country's health system, affirming that the Japa syndrome will be curtailed by building state-of-the-art infrastructure and making the sector attractive and rewarding to workers irrespective of their fields. Now to discuss this, we are joined by Dr. Bright Oris Oweri, a medical doctor, and he joins us from the nation's capital, Abuja. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us, doctor. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. All right. It's a pleasure. Now, what are the primary factors contributing to the significant migration of healthcare professionals, particularly doctors and nurses, from Nigeria to other countries? Because uh, you're aware that it's actually causing a substantial brain drain in the healthcare sector. Okay, so if you're asking what is contributing to... Um, doctors leaving. I think um, everyone is aware of this. Um, the deplorable state of the um, um, healthcare facilities, um, of course, the poor remuneration of doctors and you know, healthcare workers, of course, this is contributing to um, doctors leaving. Uh, people that can get better elsewhere, they would leave if you know, you're not creating the conditions for them to practice and thrive in your healthcare system, so they would leave. So the deplorable state of the facilities that healthcare workers have to work with, and of course the poor remuneration of you know healthcare workers as well, and the conditions uh, for healthcare workers to to work in um, is not so good. Hence, why you know uh, a lot of you know uh, medical professionals are leaving. So as it is now, uh, a lot of hospitals are shutting down, and the Lagos State University Hospital has actually, you know, shut down five wards due to lack of personnel. So how does the relocation of these doctors and nurses abroad impact the overall healthcare system in Nigeria, particularly when it comes to, you know, service delivery, patient care, and also availability of medical expertise? Um, it's going to affect a lot, of course, um, because um, after 2021 and 2022, the um, doctor to patient ratio was in Nigeria was around one doctor to around almost 10,000 patients. And uh, that is even in major cities. In the rural areas, you know, some rural areas in the north is one doctor to 45,000 patients. In some places in the south, one doctor to around 30,000 patients. So we are going to see that that number, that margin, would not would not increase. It now from one doctor to ten thousand patients to maybe one doctor to fifteen thousand patients to twenty thousand patients, and I'm talking about in the major cities. And it's going to be worse even in the rural areas. There's going to be almost no access to health care and professionals that are able to deliver proper and quality health care service in these areas. So this is how it will really affect. You know, the system. It's worse and, and it's going to get worse. It was worse three years ago and it's even worse than, you know, um, than, than before. I, I actually remember when a bill stopping or to stop doctors from, you know, uh, going abroad, professional healthcare uh, personnel from mm -hmm. going abroad actually came to the floor of the uh, National Assembly. But we want to hear from your uh, expert's perspective. What policy changes or even incentives could be implemented by uh, the country to be able to stop the brain drain from, you know, uh, going further than it has right now? Okay, so number one is the remuneration of... of um, Healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, um, if that is sorted, and of course, um, doing something with the facilities, the healthcare facilities that they work in. If 
um, that can be sorted. Of course, more people would uh, prefer to stay than leave. You know, um, are we having proper remuneration, um, competitive you know, remuneration of medical professionals here? Uh, as opposed to some other African countries. Let's not even go to European countries. Let's go to fellow African countries, right? Let's go to, you know, some, some countries in, in, in East Africa, in South Africa, even in West Africa, and ask what is their own healthcare system? What does the remuneration of doctors look like? Now, if we're able to provide better remuneration for healthcare workers, I'm sure it's going to limit the number of people that leave. Because one of the reasons why they leave is better remuneration outside, right? So if we're able to tackle the remuneration, you know, tackle the, the state of these facilities, you know, of course, um, more people would, would tend to stay, uh, you know, as opposed to, to leaving. I agree with you on that, uh, because uh, with the way the economic crisis is actually going in Nigeria, remuneration is actually key. But then, uh, still talking about, you know, uh, the doctors are going abroad and also the brain drain. Now, uh, it's one thing to have these policies, you know, on ground, and it's another thing to actually implement these policies. Now, what are the likely challenges that you feel might occur in the implementation of these policies? Uh, I think currently, um, um, you know, legislations and, you know, um, politicians in the current leading party, they are coming out to say that, you know, there is no money in the country, uh, we're already in debt. So the challenges that they are going to face with this is where would the funds come from to make these necessary and important changes that need to be made? Um, the other day, um, still on your program, we talked about um, the budgets, you know, national budgets, the, you know, supplementary budget, and how much of it was dedicated to healthcare sector. Now, if we do not see the need to not just dedicate more funds to the healthcare sector and make sure that these funds are implemented and used in the way they are supposed to be used, um, the challenges are still going to remain there. Thank you so much for joining us to discuss brain drain amongst the medical personnel in Nigeria.